I am traveling down the road, quit my job and left my home. I'm being pulled by something greater than me. This just nourishes my soul. And I intend to walk until my vision's clear and mind is still. I'm happy. <laughs> following that subtle voice within. Hey everyone, so I'm back here at a friend's house. It's so beautiful here. It's a bit of a party house, as you can hear in the back. But I just want to show you around a little bit. So we just had the nicest day at the beach. Relaxing. Oh my god, just being, doing nothing but just having chats and super nice. And um, we're gonna go for dinner. I love this island so much. Just here for Sinan. Ja, het ligt aan de muziek, geeft de muziek de schuld. Je moet de hele dag al opstanden. Ik ga naar de Ushuaia. Ja, even mijn oude leven bezoeken. Ja, hoe oh, lang is dat nu geleden dat jij die party animal Maaike was? Zes jaar? back i had such a fun night seriously last night at david Guetta. oh my god this was me coming back to my old life but then being awake and it was absolutely amazing fuck it's just one show it's entertainment non-stop i really enjoyed the music he was mixing from eminem to abba to of course lots of his own songs and it was so much fun to do this again to dance and laugh and and be in this clubbing scene again and yeah i'm really i'm really loving it and um having so much fun and also you know one of the practices we do in retreats and everything breathing in the light through your crown chakra and expanding it from your heart to everyone around you and it's just like there's so many people that come together to have this great time and everybody has their VIP table and people in tables next to us they're all friends you know they're like four couples together they've been looking forward to this all year long and they're gonna go and have tables at Ushuaia every night and you know that's the life they look forward to it so much and everybody is so happy but it's just one big crowd of people that finally kind of get to break free from the problems in their daily lives and you know, even though I know there's other ways to truly do that, it was a lot of fun to be part of. So I had a great time. So far, I'm here for a couple of days now in Ibiza, and my God, I love this island so much, so much. I love the two-facedness of the island. You know, there's so much light and dark that comes together in one place. Bali has that too, you know, the great polarity. There's so much darkness, there's so much light, and I love it. I absolutely love it and because also and I spoke about this with Jesse while we were standing in the club you know if you really embrace the dark if you truly do it's only light and that's amazing <laughs> Ik 
was living in the belly of a shark, shark. seeing what he was eating all the time. She pulled me out with her pirate sense of duty. Oh, she said, Comes, boy, I don't scare when I don't get no belly aches, and I'll be eating sparrows sitting on top of a tree. And as the day is going by, one, you show me where to get them belly aches, or I'll be here like pharaohs forever on my own. So this is what happens when you leave five girls alone and the men leave the house. Anyway, we had good fun and I'm now gonna find some aloe vera because I'm sunburned. And I found some at the back of the garden. There they are. I always feel which leaf feels right to take because you know the plant's a living being. So I feel, I ask, I take, I cut with love and I give love and energy and say thanks. We're getting ready for dinner with my good friend Paulden and the girls. So we're almost ready. We're having dinner at his guy. Oh my god, it's a great photo. You decide though. receiving this I know I'm just sitting here I'm looking and being present looking at the people and just loving life and being grateful and I feel my mother and I think of her and I'm just feeling her and I think you know I'm so grateful I'm so grateful for her love for how she's truly given me the best childhood possible that she could give me and how lucky I am to be where I am today and to be the woman that I am today um, greatly because of her, thanks to her. I just feel so grateful and I just want to hop on here and share this with you because as I feel this, I tell her, you know, I give her thanks and I, and I well, it's, it's a different experience, of course, than when somebody's still in physical form alive. But I'm hopping on here because some of you might still have mothers and fathers um, or other people that you are truly grateful for. It's just as a reminder, if you feel that, tell them. If you can still tell them in physical form, do it. Do it. Tell them you're grateful for, for them and what they've meant for you in your life. And um, yeah. Express your gratitude, express your love, don't hold it in, don't hold those words of beauty and love in, don't, yeah, that's it. Dangerous with those colors. So, yeah, this is life. This is somehow what has become of my life. My God, I am so grateful in this moment. 
<laughs> I'm so grateful. It's like I'm just here sitting, just sitting and watching and being, being, being one with nature, becoming one with her. I felt nature's call strongly because as you've seen, I've been in a little bit of this, I wouldn't say party villa, but a little bit of a party villa. And I'm really loving it. I'm loving my time there as well. But of course, after a while, nature calls, right? And it's just, okay, get your ass back in nature and just be, just be. And it's so good. So I was driving. Now, this is all the north of the island, which is the most beautiful part of Ibiza. And uh, as I'm driving all the way here, it feels like coming home. And also it feels like crossing, like driving to a different dimension in a way because I've just spent so much time in April um, in the north by myself, you know, being living this super healthy, quiet lifestyle. And in the last couple of days, I've been in this villa and a little less healthy lifestyle for the first two days. And then I couldn't do that. So I went back to eating mostly fruits again. Um, but then also, you know, having dinner at a non-vegan place, which is not something I love to do, but I also enjoy being flexible. And when I do eat that food, my God, I am so grateful, seriously so grateful for every bite. And it tastes so good. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. So yeah, I also wanted to share that with you because I feel uncomfortable. There's this thing, right? So here's this i consider myself a 95 percent vegan right um meaning i choose to buy vegan products i don't choose to buy animal products because there's just so much harm done to the animals uh it's harming our planet it's just not the right way to live for me it's not you can't say you love animals and eat them you can't say you love animals and pay for them to be abused the way they are to then eat their dead bodies or to eat the products because for the only reason one reason it tastes good i mean that can be how we live our lives we cannot be that selfish right so for me um being vegan is it's or mostly vegan is is you know common sense it has become common sense but i allow myself the space for some flexibility because i do that in every area of my life um so the other side is that i really enjoy all walks of life and i love to experience the polarities of life i guess we're here not to just have a singular minded experience but to experience all of what life has to offer so this is why i never pinpoint myself to be 100% strict on something, on anything. And again, this is why I love Ibiza so much. It has so much polarity. It has so much light and so much darkness in one place. So you can go to cl to the clubbing scene where most people are using drugs and then you can, you know, explore this. And then this can be your life on Ibiza. And most people, at least I'd say most Dutch people know the first part, you know, they know the clubbing part. But what about this, guys? Isn't this what it's all about? Isn't this? this and love and friendship what life's all about i mean this just nourishes my soul i am going to the gym on a sunday morning how motivational is that right i think oh my god there it is i think i deserve points for doing this with uh, just guys right and beach view Guys, in my 
Ooh, one of my Ooh, previous yeah, vlogs. Uh, rock power. You saw me rock sleep near El Cudra. And I said to my friend, I would love to see the back of El Cudra. I've never seen the back of El Cudra. I don't want to see the back of it. Universe, Tom Russell will be on a boat today. And we're going to visit the back of El Cudra. So, I'm going to show this video. I'm a little bit obsessed when it comes to nature and power spots. I'm like, fuck, this is so amazing. Wow. <laughs> look, look again. Oh. I mean, so we swam in a cave. 